wasp, and soldier beetles, and I'm telling what's on this place. This is goldenrod, and it's the 18th of September 2014. Insects are loving all these late blooming flowers. And this is down on South Garland Avenue where the land was recently torn up. And uh, you see that a lot of things came back despite the disturbance, some of them the cause of the disturbance. I think this is a non-native, I can't remember what you call it, but anyway. It started pretty, and here's a monarch. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a monarch. That's a look-alike lying over there. Actually, a viceroy butterfly. But gave me some excitement. There were monarchs here a few weeks ago, most of the summer. Because there was lots of milkweed. Then these guys came to revegetate the land, and oh, ironweed, ironweed's about all gone in most places, but there's still some here and there. Maybe a lot somewhere I haven't been lately. Pinnacle Prairie certainly has had a lot this summer. So we can see, looks like a bumblebee on a passion flower. That's the flora incarnata. All right. Yeah. That wasp wants to share that space. And he's flying it in my hand, but he's not interested in stinging anybody. See the little May pot developing? It'll be big as a Bigger than a golf ball, maybe as big as a tennis ball. If you get enough rain to keep feeding it. You see there's a lot of, well, there's a large one over there, let's see. This one's still not as big as they get, but it, you can tell it's uh, bigger than a golf ball, it's not a tennis ball yet. And look here, there's some more ironweed with a big old bumblebee on it. Yeah, look at there. He flew in just in time. Yeah, look at him. Look at that. And there's some more passion flower. More passion flower. More bumblebees. Okay, so this place is going pretty well right now. Oh, gosh. Hmm. But not what it was. Because they just drove over a lot of that milkweed that was already had the uh, slower may pop. Yeah. Oh boy. And you see this passion flower right here. You'll see a white one, I believe, here in a second. Of course, here's some red top grass. That's in the Panicum family, I believe. And there's swamp vervain. Doesn't look very swampy right here. Well, yeah, it does. You can see where the water is through here. All right. But the soil is covered with a lot of gravel and stuff. Anyway, let's see what we can do about this white. Oh, yeah. Uncover this one. See, that one's real pale, but it's been around for a while, so maybe it's just fading. Maybe it wasn't really white, but these sure are. Yeah. Okay. So there are some that are actually. 
pretty darn white and they'll be in full bloom so you know they're it's a natural condition not just going to past bloom or swamp vervain get a little bit of that out here just a great mix of things I can't name everything and I'm going to show you another passion flower climbing some I don't know something in the uh, I'm not sure mm, big bumblebee big bumblebee come on come on baby there you go get after it Mr. Bumblebee okay or is it a carpenter bee regardless there relatives Beautiful, despite all the disturbance and abuse this piece of property had, because these native roots, as long as they're left in the ground, they'll be trying to come up every year. But they'll finally build something on this. People clearing it were just violating the law and didn't have any permits for dredging and grading and so forth. And I don't know what they were planning to do, but they sure made a mess. Took down a lot of trees. Took out a lot of native plants on the ground. Okay. Okay. People go buy this in stores and plant it. And here it grows wild in spite of the destruction that's occurred. And here's a special grass species. You see this? See the little bitty seed parts on there? Let's see what we can do. Let me show up more. You don't see this very often. And it's pretty tiny. So I don't know what to call it. Grows out of a clump, and I'm thinking it's native. We don't have an expert here. That's the seed of the Illinois bundle grass right there. Tiny little white flower with a big seed pod. Let's take one of these home. We can use one of those in our yard. Maybe one will grow from that. Because this probably won't be here next year. There won't be any seed produced if they build something on it. Because they'll red dirt the whole place. Oh, we got a collection of flowers on this one big long stem passion vine. So bumblebee was right under us and now there's one over there too. So they're kind of beautiful, aren't they? Pretty darn nice. Well, we'll get over it. We'll finally catch up with one of these orange butterflies. One of them, I'm sure, was a viceroy. But I've seen another one that may be a monarch. It's time to see more monarchs migrating and hatching from what plants got the ones that were hatched.